Hi guys, how's it going? Today we're going to have a look at the green class perks. These are, again, nine of them. Very interesting. The red and the blue perks will be available soon. The red is already available, so there's a card for that. I'll add a card for the blue as soon as it is available. As with the last video, these are all ranked and all the details are there. Let's go and have a look at the lowest spot. Okay, so first up and uh, top spot on the useless meter is Recon. After an enemy is killed, nearby enemies will be scanned and displayed on the minimap. That sounded really, really good on paper. In practice, yeah, about as useful as a chocolate fire guard. It seems to be about five meters around the enemy that you just killed, not around you. If that enemy wasn't on the minimap, so you're killing at range, it doesn't even trigger. You can't notice it. Uh, with the gunfire noises, UAVs, this just seems really, really underwhelming. And I doubt the range would even help you in s and unless you were really, really lucky. I found Shipment was the only map it had its slight use, but being that glued to the mini-map was actually det detrimental to my performance. So, no. Overall score, one. Next up, we have Ant. Taking advantage of faster weapon swap, throwing grenades, launcher reload speeds. Uh, okay, sounded good, but it excludes pistols and melee swaps, which is where this would have been really, really powerful. Okay, if you're doing, uh, I know, going for gold on launchers so you can swap quickly, it's quite useful there. As you can see in the little video, it's almost instant to swap, so it could be useful for that, but for the most part, it's just not worth the slot. In at number seven is Quick Fix. Your gun, melee, combat axe kills regenerate your health. If you're capturing and holding positions, it also increases your health generation. Basically, as soon as you kill someone, it heals you about 20% instantly and kicks in the rest of the health gen, regardless of any counters like wounding. So yes, it's useful, but Really close range maps, shotgunning on shipment, pair this up with fast recover, it's quite nice, but otherwise not really overly worth the slot over some of the other green perks we can have. Okay, so next up we have Tracker. Enemy footprints are visible for four seconds. This is very much like the Scout passive in Battle Royale, and I think in Search and Destroy this could really have its usefulness when you're chasing down an enemy. So you can see in the video there what it does. It's not bad, it's useful, and for a search and destroy class, yep, not bad at all, and that's where I'm giving it its ranking from. Next up in the number five slot, which is a perk that would have ranked a lot higher in the past, is Ghost. Enemy UAVs cannot reveal your position, so the little red dot that you can see in the video will not show up for your enemies. As I mentioned in the past, when UAVs tracked your every movement, this was vital and would have hit near the top spot. At the moment, it just doesn't. If you are trying to run completely silent, so you're using silenced weapons, you're going for nuke runs, then yes, it's worth doing. But that's about it right about now. Just not overly worth it. In at number four, we have Cold Blooded. Enemy AI control score streaks cannot target you. Hunter killer drones, sentry turrets, uh, stealth shoppers, none of these can hit you, as you can see in the video. Anything like VTOLs and that obviously can. This is very, very useful, I think, on a lot of maps. Be very aware, though, with the hunter killer drone, if it hits someone next to you, you will still get hurt or even killed by the splash damage. I think this is vital to run on things like shipment when you're doing your gold grinds. Into the top three, and at number three, we have Hardwired. You become immune to counter UAVs, which is nice, your mini-map's never going to uh, be blacked out. EMP grenades no longer hurt you, but the most important thing is you no longer trigger trip mines. It does say about enemy tracker perks being reduced, but tracker perks are really rather rarely used anyway. So the trip mine thing, I think this is where this is very useful. So this ranks very high because of that in ranked for search and destroys and the counter UAVs, which are spammed quite often in ranked. Very, very nice perk to use. In the number two spot, we have toughness. Very underrated perk, I think, but with season four, I suspect this is going to be ranked a lot higher. With 
Snipers, definitely. As you can see in the video now, you don't get a lot of flinch when you're attacked. In season four for snipers, that's going to hurt a lot more. So this is going to be really good. Where I think this is most underrated is for our newer players. A lot of times when you're one-on-one, -on -one, you start getting shot at, you can't hit back at the guy. This stops that. 60% flinch rate is really quite a lot. So our newer players running with this can find their one-on-one -on -one fight a lot easier. A, a great perk to use and highly underrated. In at the number one spot, I've got Vulture. A lot of people might disagree with this, but I think this is really good. You pick up ammo equal to the size of the magazine of the weapon you are using. Doesn't work with SM SMRSs or anything, unfortunately, but your normal pistols and any of the other weapons, it's great. I think this is a must for a lot of games, unless you're gonna die a lot when you're gonna regen your ammo anyway. It saves you having to pick up other weapons or have to run around with secondaries. It's just really useful. I think this pairs up so well with Lightweight as a catch-all, always usable perk. There you go, guys. As you can imagine, these were a bit hard to actually rank. That toughness could be very useful in Season 4, and the ranking could change a bit. Here on the screen now is all of the ranks for all of them, so you can screenshot my thoughts, same as before. Don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe. You're going to love all the videos that are coming. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.